Seeing that the time is approximately 7 o'clock, we will call to order and have the roll call of the meeting of the November 10th, 19, or 2016 Planning Commission. Thank you, Chairman DeVoe. So we'll begin with uh, John DeVoe. Here. Jeff Watson. Here. Alan Kara. Here. Ken Hartsfield. Here. Pat Hislop. Here. Gary Henley. Here. Peter Scanlon. Here. Charles Schrader. Here. And Steve Stanner. We'd like everybody in the audience to stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. of the minutes from last year. No, it's actually <laughs> August 11. Anybody remember what they were? I know. I went back and read it. I was like, oh, I know. We did all that. <laughs> okay. We need a motion to approve the minutes so of we'll August 11. The minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Same sign. Approved. And roll call beginning with Jeff Watson. <laughs> Public hearings, none. <laughs> Chairman report, none. Commissioner re reports. Come on, it's been a long time. We've got to report. Come on. Uh, no? No? She, Sally will have something to talk yes, about. Yes, I Planning do. director's report. First, okay. Firstly, I'd like to welcome Ellen Carrick to the Planning Commission. She was appointed recently to take Marty Propes's place. So we're thrilled to have Ellen. She's had her orientation and also had an opportunity to attend uh, the Planning Commission training at the conference. So we'll be talking about that later. Uh, also under the Planning Director's Report, I'd like to introduce you to Lannan Abbott. She is our student volunteer in the Planning Department. She is taking a leadership class at uh, Colorado Springs Christian School. She's a junior oh, and great. has been attending uh, city council meetings and this is her first planning commission meeting. But uh, Lannon is helping us with an inventory of the accessory dwelling units mm -hmm. so that we can get those um, identified and mapped. And then she's also working on naming Quinn Alley officially, which is an alleyway that runs just north of Midland Avenue, Highway 24. And so she'll be presenting uh, that uh, resolution to City Council on December 1st. So we're thrilled to have Lana helping us in the planning department. And then for the work session this evening, we are going to discuss uh, some potential zoning regulation modifications, amendments to the municipal code dealing with accessory structures. We're also going to give you an update of the Planning Association Conference that took place a couple weeks ago. Uh, myself, uh, Ellen, Pat, and Peter all had a chance to attend all or a portion of the conference so we'll be talking about that and then lastly during the work session uh, Jeff Watson and I will share the new affordable housing assessment for Teller County and we have those to give out to you we won't be having another meeting this month uh, but depending upon how quickly we go through the code amendment discussion tonight. We may have our meeting in December 2nd, Thursday. So do plan on that. Questions? Laura, would you like to start off your uh, part of the program? Is this a place where we can ask you a question about the status of something? 
I was curious about the status of the uh, assisted living facility. I keep walking by there and nothing's happening except a pile of dirt that doesn't allow people to drive in there. In fact, I spoke with the um, developer today and they are still pulling together their finances for that project. They hope to get started as soon as that's ready together. They will get financing, right? <laughs> they got a big hole in the ground. So yes. <laughs> and they have installed the yes. sewer line that yes, goes under that the goes. highway. Their retaining walls, their grading is done. So, yes, they're just waiting for the last investors to get on board. And I had another question about that. Yes. Uh, is there any, you know, the, the place does not look like what we approved ah. in the, uh, you know, in, in council or in the planning commission. You know, the big wall was not part of the, uh, the landscaping and that sort of thing. Yeah, it, it was. It was? Yep, there were retaining walls along the front. They always had to do that site balancing, and there was going to be retaining walls in the front, and there were going to be retaining walls in the back as well. And they're not going to do – what they did was they reversed the order of the buildings. So they're going to do the front building first, where before they were going to do the back building first, and then do that back retaining wall. But they just reversed everything. And, and those retaining walls were part of the original plan. They were? Yeah. Okay. It just doesn't look like much when you're looking at it on a plan. No, it didn't. You yeah. know, my my follow-on question was – with. If a developer does something drastically different than what we approved, is there a mechanism in, within the system for coming back to council and planning commission? Yes, uh, it would come back, and the key word is drastic. If there are some minor changes, then yeah, we well, can do that yeah. administratively. Yeah. So they don't have financing yet? Apparently not. All of their investors are not quite Isn't on Isn't Eric, Eric Smith involved with I'm that? not mm -hmm. sure. Okay. Not, any, not anymore. He conveyed the land and he's not involved okay. anymore. Right. Quinn Alley. What's going to happen to Quinn Alley? Uh, Quinn Alley is just being named, officially named. That's uh, all we're doing? That's all we're doing at this we're point. We're not making uh, I, Highway 24 out of it or anything like no. that? No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> there was talk about putting oh, car really? traffic oh, on it. Yeah, there oh, was. Yeah. That's why I wanted to. Isn't it just an. Google will be able to find it, that kind of thing, right? Right, Partly. and we can put um, signs on it so that people can use it, utilize it, find it more easily, that sort of thing. Since we brought up updates, um, I heard that uh, there was a foreclosure on Gold Hill South. I the paper. Yes. And then, so how is it, we're, do we have anything going on with the Best Western then? Do we know anything? Don't know anything about that at okay. this point in time. Yeah. Six million dollars from Wells Fargo. From? Foreclosure. From Wells Fargo. On oh, that's Gold the Hill South. That's not local. But, you know, that's, they work those things out. It just kind of puts a shot across the bow and start working on it. I don't know if it affects the, the possibility of that hotel being built. That's what I was curious about. They're not paying that. It's probably got a little problem with the hotel. Yeah. I would guess. So at this point in the meeting, we will uh, close the regular portion of the meeting, and Dave will end that. Is your, is your pleasure just to stay up here because otherwise